Good, good. Like clap with the mic in my hand. How's it going? How's it going? Hello, <laughs> hi everybody. Welcome to welcome to the Fear In Podcast, a podcast by three guys from Australia. It's three regular. <laughs> That's right. Australian we've changed. Australians we've here. changed. I've I've improved. I've improved quite a lot. I've improved myself, <laughs> and uh, I've improved my co-host. <laughs> Who am I replacing? Am I? Um, am I Will? Will? No, Will. you're you're uh, Austin. I'm you're Austin. Austin. He's uh. he's the eye candy, and yeah. and you're you're Will. Cutie Cinderella couldn't make it. She's actually still a part of the podcast, but but Will and Austin are not. I've cut them out. It's over. <laughs> it's you guys now. What's up, everybody? Uh, we're back. We're back. We're doing Fear and Podcast, and we're we're doing it in Australia. Unfortunately, Will couldn't come, and and Austin was not interested in coming ever. And Cutie, of course, doesn't travel. So it's just me with my two uh, Aussie boyfriends, and we're popping off out here in Sydney. I don't know if you guys watch the live streams. Uh, I, I am also going to Melbourne after this as well, so we're going to be doing some other podcasts with some other Australian content creators as well, and uh, we'll bring you along for the journey. You're already sh- both of you guys are you got, got the piggies the, out, got the dogs out, you got the dogs out. You're just want to help are, you guys get some views. You know why is it? Why are they so dirty underneath? It's because I walk barefoot everywhere. Yep. It's also because the house I'm filthy. barefoot in the garage, and then I walk through the house, so then the floor is. Filthy and covered in like I mean, metal at best spikes. It's, at best, it's filthy, but usually there's like shavings of metal <laughs> that you end up stepping on. Dude, that's the same exact nonsense with my brother. Marat, <laughs> Marat also has a lot of metal shavings everywhere, and he brings it into the fucking house, and it's, it's the so, worst thing ever because you step on it, and you're like, "This is not supposed to be here." It's the so worst. Painful. I bring them into my bed. Are you saying that as if someone's done this to you? You're like shocked. I mean, I am shocked because I'm shocked to myself, but I don't change my behavior, and then I'm like, "This hurts." Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Why do you not, you know, clean yourself a little bit more? I don't know. I can't. Anyway. Okay. Well, listen, <laughs> listen. I think that I, I have a lot of I have a lot of opinions on Australia. And I want to get started with the number one thing that I've been saying already. Australia is baby America. It is very similar to America in many ways, I think. And you guys have gotten very mad at me for this. Well, I just feel culture shock whenever I go to America. Maybe maybe I'm just in denial. I don't know. I, but I, maybe it's because it's mini America, so you don't Yeah, feel it's just more America plus. America is America plus. Australia is America minus. Oh. It's like, like when you get angry at other people for exhibiting behaviors that you have. Yes. That's, I go there and I'm angry because I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I, I see it. I see it in myself. You're like, indigenous genocide. Who could have what done is, this? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Who could have done that? Yeah. Why are you a settler colony? Not me. No, thank you. <laughs> I would never do such a thing. <laughs> In Australia. What are some of the things that you say that you're like? So car cooked. Yeah. I think I think Australia is very car cooked. Yeah. Um, it kind of has to be in some ways, I guess, because like there are areas that you just can't go to without having yeah. a car. But I suspect that many people are not like traveling to random parts of the fucking outback where no one lives. Yeah. What is, what's that about? There's just whole spaces of land where just no one We're lives. We're working on colonizing that. That's a, that's a project. <laughs> that's a settler colonial project. What happened? What happened there? No, no, one, no one fucks with that? Well, I, I don't know if they're you talking from like a ecosystem kind of like it's not profitable to go to these. I just, I we go there for mining. For mining. Like dig up all it the just stuff. doesn't rain, oh. I think. Maybe that's a big part of it. It's just the what? It doesn't rain. It's like the yeah. east coast of Australia and then every like people only live on the coast. Yeah. I think yeah. that's just because of water. It's there's so much land though. Yeah, people used to know how to live in the middle of Australia. Yeah, they killed all those guys. So like, yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah. Know. They, so could, now, now we they should have asked them like, how do you do this before <laughs> yeah. killing yeah. them? You say that, but Pine Gap. That's true. It's Americans the, know how to live in there. Very so, useful so, spaces yeah. in the middle of Australia. <laughs> That's oh my. So is Pine Gap in the middle of Australia? Yeah, like pretty much. It's like dead, dead center. center. Yeah. Oh, there's got to be some utility out of that. Yeah. I think I think the idea is that like because it never rains, um, they get like perfect satellite communications, and then also it's in the middle of you know the outback, so it's very hard to get to. And yeah, yeah, not, yeah not many. unless you're YouTubers with a mission. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't what? that hard to. Get. Did anybody? Did anybody like since the police detained you? Has anyone reached out again? No. No. So that was it. We, they just like we did have a weird thing happening for a while since since we came back. It we had pol- we had police visiting a lot because we've got security cameras in this house that point at the street. 
Mm. They always come by and be like, uh, there was a murder. We have to like plug this USB into your security cameras and, and find out. We're like, okay. And it happened a ver- like it happened s- probably six or seven times in two to three weeks. Yeah, Do you we'll- think a lot of murders are happening in your neighborhood or there's the cops are just like working? Oh, I haven't surveil- heard of a single murder in this no, neighborhood. No, I mean, they, I'm, it's not like I know. They were like, it's gang related. So we're like, oh, maybe we won't know about it I don't know after a while we said secret. like no no thanks let them let yeah. the gangs do what they want to do yeah leave, leave me out of it <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm not snitching I, <laughs> I've, I've taken i, I don't want to take a position on the gangs please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. wait that's not so you think like maybe the the intelligence community is like let's let's see what these guys I are think about. Like, I, I think we're just actually paranoid and I, we want to feel like we've done something really cool so we're like they're actually after us i definitely like to think that yeah yeah it makes you feel important yeah I think I, it's more we live in a dodgy area. <laughs> I did I did consider not putting your name down when I was getting my Australian visa because like I thought maybe because of the Pine Gap video there would be like, no. <laughs> like you're already dinged up on our list. <laughs> like you can't get TSA pre-check for some weird reason. I don't know what it is. I'm not speculating. Maybe it's just government incompetence and they're <laughs> just like bad at giving me TSA pre-check, only me. <laughs> sure. Everyone else seems to have an totally. easy time with it. I don't know. And then he's like, well, what are they doing? Are they linking up? Like <laughs> this guy, Pine Gap, CIA, yeah, what's going on? Here, you have a file. What's <laughs> the fuck is this about? And I thought that, that I might not get like a visa to Australia, which is like the most cucked thing because like. It is America. Mini yeah. America. It is. It's, a ba- it's not even America. It's a base. It's an American yeah, yeah. base. I own this country and I'm not allowed yeah. into it. It's insulting. Yeah. Like. Yeah, Although so we had the same issue coming to your place. We wrote Hassan down as a contact, and then the, the customs people were like, "You're meeting this Hassan, and where did you meet him before?" Like, "Oh, on the internet." So like, you met Hassan yeah. on the internet, and then on the going, Islam forums. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, "Now you're staying at his house." Do you know his address? I'm like, "Not really." I like, how long have you known this man? I was like, "Oh, I've spoken to him like once or twice online." Like you're living with him. Yeah. It, which is normal. That's how it works. Which I had that exact same uh, exchange with the Customs and Border Patrol uh, guy in Australia. But mine wasn't like, a, mine was a random search. Mm. And mm. It, like, but what I mean by that is there was a Customs and Border Patrol guy, which by the way, they suspiciously wear outfits that doesn't, that don't look like they're professional. Like, oh, so oh, probably because they're not carrying like fucking M. M- the uh, AR-15. It was just yeah, like, but maybe you got a special one because we've been pulled over a lot by the the random people, but they obviously look like they're in a uniform. He was in a uniform, but it didn't it's like a chill give uniform. off like cop vibes. Yeah, uh, they kind of they kind of look. Yeah, pretty, they look chill. Pretty chill. He looked like he could be wearing like a delivery driver uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was like, I was looking at him. <laughs> I grabbed my bag. Fifteen hour flight, by the way. We'll talk about that in a second. Grab my bag, and this like bogan looking dude is like looking at me and i i, I look i'm looking back at him and i'm like how do i get out of here because like i couldn't figure out where the exit was and he's like well you're not getting out of here right now. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you i'll show you how to get out of here mate <laughs> fucking hell um no he was just like all right come over here and i was like oh a helpful guy <laughs> nope he just starts being real inquisitive with me and then i realized like is this motherfucker customs and border patrol what's happening and then he just like he starts asking me questions like, what do you do? And he's like, can I see your car? Because we do the smart, you guys have the smart thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you like have to put your passport in. And it's like, oh, God. I don't know if this is just me, but I get so fucking annoyed because like on the plane, they give you a card. Yeah. And you have to write all the stuff. And they're like, did you bring in any meat? Did you bring in any dairy? Like, uh, did you bring we're any tobacco lacto- products? We're all lactose intolerant here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the government has to keep an eye on I, that. And I get it, like, because island, delicate ecosystem, you don't want to fuck it up. Like, you can't even bring shoes with, like, soil on mm. them, right? So in my mind, I'm thinking, like, you know, okay, I fill this out, and then it's fine. And then I get out of the plane, and then I have to do it again on the fucking smart machine. Also, have you seen what they do with your card? Literally, you give it to a person, you walk in, they just throw it in a bit. Yeah. yeah. So why did I fill that out if you're going to ask me the questions anyway? Yeah. Like, So I fucking fill it out. I do the smart machine. After the smart machine, this fucking bogan is asking me the same exact fucking questions. I'm like, bro, this is the eighth time I'm answering these. Fu- yeah. No, I don't have any soil on my fucking shoes, man. <laughs> like, no. They're like, oh, have you been to Indonesia or, or South America? And I'm like, that's weird. Why are you asking me specifically those two places? <laughs> yeah. It's, I don't know, what, do they got beef with Indonesia? What's happening? I don't know, because it's like the same fucking I feel ecosystem. Like they like Indonesia. 
Maybe they're just racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, we just don't like Indonesia. Yeah. If you've I, I been think there, they should be honest though. Like when they approach you, they should just be like, "Are you Muslim?" Yeah. <laughs> this should be that question. That also did happen with the Customs <laughs> and Border Patrol guy. <laughs> Literally, he's like, "It's like, oh, so he looks through my paperwork and he's like, all right, well, you got to come with me." And in the time frame, like. I always try to avoid telling people that I'm like a political commentator, especially not a Customs and Border Patrol agent. Mm. And I don't want to tell them like what I do exactly either because I don't want them to be like, wait a minute, you're not here for a fucking tourism operation. It seems like you're doing commerce, mate. Fucking. Yeah. And now yeah. I'm British. I don't know why I'm British now. Fuck. Anyway, um, like, so I, I don't want them to like ding me on that, right? So I'm just like, I'm a Twitch streamer. This guy's like 50 fucking years old. He didn't know what Twitch is. So I thought that would end the conversation <laughs> dead in its fucking tracks. No. Inquisitive motherfucker. It's like, oh, Twitch streamer. My son watches Twitch. What kind of games? What do you do on Twitch? And I'm like, I'm not telling him I do politics. So I'm like, I play video games. And I'm thinking this will stop the conversation and we'll move on to the next question. No. My son loves video games. What do you play? Do you play FIFA? Do you play 2K? And I was like, no. And I, in my mind, I was thinking, like, what's the fucking lamest, like, nerdiest <laughs> thing I can pull out of my ass? I was like, Final Fantasy VII. I play role-playing games. <laughs> <laughs> so, then, so then he's like, he, that did stop him. He was not, he did not inquire further about that at all. He was like, oh, fuck this guy. He's, you know, okay, fuck this dude. But then he starts talking to me about the TikTok ban. Because he's like, well, you're an influencer. You know. Do you think TikTok, and you're American, do you think TikTok's going to get banned? And, you know, I just immediately I flipped a switch and immediately I was, you know, being a fucking political commentator. <laughs> and I started explaining to him how unfair it is because, like, America just simply wants to, like, take this very profitable corporation mm. and and like sell it to an American by force. It's not really a TikTok ban, blah, blah, blah. And I think that worked as well because I bored him. <laughs> so then he, so then that was good maybe just stick to a political yeah yeah yeah, yeah, I just, yeah, I yeah. Like, i'm a political commentator i will fucking bore you i promise so what ended up happening is we go to the x-ray machine he looks through it there's nothing going on he you know he's like but in the process there was the funny moment he looks at my name he's like so hassan he's like where are you from and i'm like los angeles california and he goes but your name is hassan where are you really from? <laughs> and I, like, I, I was shocked because, like, they don't do that in America. <laughs> like, which is surprising because, like, America is pretty fucking racist. <laughs> but I've never had someone be like, but where are you really from? That's not even a border control thing. Like, people on the street, like even to me, racist, white, yeah. white guy, will yeah. just be like, where are you from? Yeah. You're not that I, I notice your eyebrows are a bit darker than mine. Come on. Where, tell me where you're yeah. from, sir. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what are we working with? Well, the where are you from happened twice. It happened in the fucking Uber ride. Uh, not Uber. It was like a, like a driver that uh, my manager had hired. And the guy immediately said the exact same thing. He's like, well, your name is Hassan. You're not from America. Like, where are you actually yeah. from? And that was a whole different can of worms. But I don't even want to get into that right now. Um, yeah, so far, so good. <laughs> what the fuck's going on in Australia? There's... <laughs> There's just spiders everywhere. They're uh, they're it's just so venomous. You've survived though. I it's yeah. terrifying. You had a spider like thrown on you. I did. Is this well, gonna come nothing, out in the nothing video? Happened. It was great though that we took you um snorkeling and fish were way more of a problem for you than spiders. Yes. Way more. It was the most terrifying experience. I can't wait to see the GoPro of me shitting my pants as these like big ass like puppy sized fish are just like swimming at me <laughs> i've never seen someone scream like that in the water no ever it was actually really embarrassing i can't, <laughs> go, back, I can't go back to that beach. it was <laughs> i think it was very manly scream <laughs> to be fair i think it was more like ah, like like it was like you were fucking yeah shadow boxing and i was fighting the blue <laughs> groper blue groper yeah it's a that's a weird name that yeah. maybe that's why they're called gropers did right? you understand yeah because that one bit my nipple yeah that, that was weird, weird. I've never ever heard of that happening before. Yeah, neither. I thought they were going to be more scared of me. They, 
I think I much prefer fish being afraid of me than not being afraid of me. Because <laughs> wanting fucks, to kiss you, it fucks you up when they just swim at you. You're like, this is not supposed. They've got to no happen. arms. It's, it's like a, it's like a paraplegic running at you. Like you can't. They, that's scary. <laughs> that is scary. That's, that's like scary some. Ex- that's like some Exodus shit. Yeah. It's oh, just, it's, like someone and their arms are like flailing around and they're just running at you head first. You'd be like, what the fuck? That's scarier than Wait, a dude. So that's what you feel when you see a fish <laughs> running at you? You know, you know what I feel? Because I understand your fear now. Like yeah, if I felt you know that I with feel? fish. I feel like everything in my mind is telling me that this is an alien organism and I shouldn't be here right now. I shouldn't be in the water. And also, like what does he know that I don't know? Yeah. Because <laughs> think about spend it. Spend a lot like, of time in there. <laughs> a lot of time to think. Yeah. yeah. He's he's been down there. He knows a lot. He knows all the secrets of the ocean that I don't know. But that's not even it. I'm just saying, like, because most of the time fish are like, oh, that's big thing. Not, you know, that's alien foreign object here. I'm gonna run away. That other fish doesn't give a fuck. So he knows something. He's confident. It might just, well, confident? It might just be horny. Yeah, true. Well, well yeah, just a like, horny fish. You had a big blue shirt on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm dude, a, I'm gonna fuck and you that love guy. to grope. It, it, dude, <laughs> it, you're a blue groper. I'm just saying, like, I don't know what he knows. He obviously, he has some set of skills that allow him to be that confident. <laughs> and a, I don't want to find out. There's a boring but cute answer to that. What that like, we're swimming in a protected zone. So, like, everywhere outside of that, you can fish for them. And in there, you can't. So, like... They know this somehow. And like yeah. when you're in the protected zone, they'll come up to you. And once you're out there, they're like, they don't want anything to do with you. That also doesn't make a lot of sense. Because in my mind, in my head, cannon fish are way stupider than that. Yeah, I thought so as well. But this does, It is I mean, weird. You learn that they're actually pretty creepy and then it makes you feel like you don't want to kill them. But then yeah. I just keep killing them anyway. Because yeah. Finding Nemo is a documentary, <laughs> as we established. This is, the, <laughs> yeah. this is the Australia, this is the peak of my Australian content is like finding out that, you know, Fish are actually smart. Well, some of them are dumb. They, there's the one with the amnesia. Yeah, the the turtle though. That doesn't count. Turtles in Finding Nemo. In Finding Nemo, was it the turtle that had amnesia? Oh, that. I oh, thought yeah. it was like the other little girl fish that was like Dory. Oh. Dory doesn't Dory oh. forget? That is you? not the turtle. Yeah, that's like a turtle's just a stoner. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay, just a high guy. Yeah, also forgets things. We did find out that turtles are horny, so yeah. horny today <laughs> that like that one fun. of them fucked a rock so hard that it broke their shell yeah which is impossible to break <laughs> we've had we've we've had some some good fun um so far i think we've done a lot in a very very short period of time i know i would like to sleep okay point, but, <laughs> so uh, let's 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 go around let's let's try this thing that you, we were doing before we started the the uh oh, yeah. we, before we started the stream do your american accent i can't it's so hard where am i looking what's my guy I, I, can try, I can try my best. I, it's really, it's really hard to speak in an American accent. Uh, my name, my name's Alexa. I'm, I'm here on a podcast with uh, Hassan Hassan. <laughs> why do you, why do you put that on? You, you, you it's the only one I can do. Everything it's, else it's is because impossible. he sings Johnny Cash. So that's oh, his just his that's, singing that's voice. That's the only, yeah, that's the only American accent I know. Oh my God, that's why you do that. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That makes so much sense, bro. All the other ones bro, are impossible. That makes so much bro. sense, bro. Bro, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I, I only, apparently I have, he was saying that I only have a couple phrases that I like nail perfectly, but, it's but like, then. It's like certain words are like indistinguishable and then the, the direct next one will be absolutely nothing like the Australian accent. So it's like a hard <laughs> one to, hard one to like judge. What if it's like, what if it's more like I'm Australian, but I lived in America for yeah, too long. Yeah. So that, now that happens here a lot because like people think America's cool. So we, I remember I had this kid in high school. He went to like America for a week with his family. He came back. He had an American accent for the rest of high school. It was, it was super lame. I, mean, I was like putting it on, but it's just like, it's like, oh, it's my thing now. I'm an American guy. <laughs> but we get that as well. They're international schools where it's oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Australians, yeah. but they're not, they don't live in America. But they interact they learn, with a lot of them. And life. then they just have American accents for some reason. Some reason our autistic people as well have American accents. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> how come? I'm not joking. Autistic Australians have American yes. accents. Yes. Where do you think and autism comes from? Every single autistic kid <laughs> at our school had an American accent. I mean, like, I, I know a lot of autistic people with an Australian accent. How come you don't have an American accent? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of <laughs> odd that you're saying this right now. Yeah. Sounded real Australian, Don't big I, dog. Perfect American accent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, is it like a nerdy American accent? Is like, uh, actually, it's like an anime. It's like an anime yeah. American accent. Oh, like a dramatic. I don't know. Yeah. Dramatic accent. Yeah, uh, do it. Do your do your autistic American <laughs> accent. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Fuck uh, it. <laughs> I, I can't. Uh, I'm sorry, I only do one American accent. It's the only one I know. <laughs> okay, okay. You're doing. This is turning into Come Town real fast. <laughs> yeah, by the way. yeah. This literally has become Come Town immediately. <laughs> um, yeah. No. This is Johnny Cash, but he's autistic. But he's autistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just hears the trainer coming, and that's all he cares about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. yeah. yeah. You got to know when to hold him and know when to fold him. Is that Johnny Cash? That's, That's uh, Waylon Jennings, I think. I think Johnny Cash sang that too, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Everyone's, it's pretty incestuous in country he, music. Yeah, still he's, he's done covers. Like, his Hurt cover is, I think, like the best version of the song in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't listen to any music except for that one song. That's very sad. <laughs> I don't know. It's fucked up. <sighs> you guys are coming to America soon. Yeah, in June. Yeah. Yeah. We're excited. How long, how long are you planning on staying there? Um, until you kick us out, I think. Is the plan <laughs> okay, like last time? Was just, yeah. Just, okay, so you're just not squatters' rights. What are yeah. we? What are we gonna do when we're out there? I really want to go to a um, prison rodeo. Yep. Um, I heard you guys have like real life gladiators in America, and like I saw the movie with Russell Crowe, and I thought that was just like ancient Rome, but it's apparently it's it's. I mean, football's kind of like that too, honestly. Yeah, like, but they're not. They're not like slaves. True. Yeah. <laughs> what do you they mean? Just like true. some of them have been to prison. No, no. I meant like oh, gladiator. Football. Oh, they just kill each other. Football. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they all get they CET are like and straight up pummeling on one another, yeah. and then their lifespan is like greatly shortened. And then the NFL hides the fact that like it was actually killing them like a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like until they one commit of them suicide. Literally, like, or... Killed. Yeah. We get we have very similar sports here. But it's like it's not just that it like kills them, but it makes them like really angry. Yeah, like CTE. Time, well, if, yeah. You, if you look up, I think AFL and uh, and rugby here, like they have the highest abu- like domestic, like domestic abuse, abuse rates yeah. out of any sports. But that makes sense. First, yeah. because of the culture, and they hit their heads for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just like there's. If you're really good at doing that one thing, you think that's how you solve the problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm not even, yeah, I'm not even, it's like cops, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Cops are just like so good at beating the shit out of people yeah. that they just think like, oh, my soup is cold, <laughs> which, <laughs> so it's how time do to do the thing that I did to the 14 year old <laughs> black kid earlier. Yeah. <laughs> it should be a rule then that like rugby players, AFL players, they are only allowed to date people as big as them. Yeah, so when they have a problem, it's like, well, this this is like we're playing yeah. that game again. Yeah, just we're, like we're having throw, a scrum. I thought right they should now. be celibate like monks. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love that. Dude, come retention. That yeah, would make yeah. them more they powerful. So oh, powerful. it's too scary. They would be too. Yeah, they would be too good. They'd run through the gates of the stadium and then just They'll keep do going. Like airbending or something. <laughs> like, I don't even know where they would take. They them. start levitating randomly. They just they did too much semen retention. Okay, well, I want to hear what you guys think about this, but. I think that there should be like legalized steroids in in sports. Definitely. I feel like it would genuinely improve it. I mean, ice field is a separate category. He still had like all natural sports. Why? I think everything you should, if you're an athlete, and we have a better way to be an athlete, then you're not an athlete if you're not taking steroids. Like that's just the best way to be the best at it. Yeah. So, so do, you're on board do, with it as well. I'm completely on board with oh, it. Okay. I'd like to watch it, but I'd also like to watch. No, I want to. If some, if like I can you, watch I wanna, a wanna, faster like, man, I'm going to watch the faster. Yeah, no, but guy. like, let's say you have like a cyborg Olympics. You know, you, would you want them competing with the steroid guys? Yes. <laughs> yes so, they, so they crush sick. them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Body modification all the way. Like yeah. some guys are cyborgs. Some guys have like really pushed it to the max with steroids. There would be no natural, just like no steroid guy. No. You know, at no. all. But I mean, who cares? I don't give a shit. I want everybody I mean, to look like fucking Baki characters. I mean, if they're already fucking getting CTE and like dying earlier, this isn't a big jump. It's it's not like It'd probably be healthy. You probably have to work out less to achieve the same results. You think working out <laughs> is the un- least healthy part? <laughs> of sports? Yeah. I mean, a work life balance. You get more of a work life balance. <laughs> I don't think 
that's why they get fucked up, dude. I think it, I think <laughs> it is. Whites. I think it is. Uh, that just nobody's stressed going out. Like yeah. <laughs> nobody's going, oh, thank God I have to work out less. Like, this is the worst part of my job. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's true. I just had it all wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's so silly. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, okay, but let's see what do I have here. I realize that like this podcast is basically always about me yelling at Austin about all of the things that he did to me over the week. <laughs> and and then like, you know, Will coming in with like one pet peeve that he has. And then Cutie's just kind of also doing that a little bit. So like Normally, normal podcasts, the way they work, like we have topics to talk about. Well, we oh. don't really fucking have any topics. We've been doing to talk the same about, thing, for like except for the fact that, yeah, except for the fact that when I first came down here, I, of course, didn't plan well ahead of time. I just basically hit you guys up and I was like, I'm coming. Mm. And which was great because you guys were like, Okay, cool. Uh, also, you don't have a space. <laughs> You're like, where are you staying? That sounds sick. And it's like, yeah, oh, no, that's yeah, like your yes. house. <laughs> well, because I had the realization, I was like, fuck. Like, I haven't told Hassan that we don't. Because the last time I spoke to you, we had a f- spare room. And I was like, my brother's living here now. So I was like, we'll do it. We'll tell him. And then Alexa was like, no, no, it's cool. We'll just bunk up and Hassan can stay yeah. here. He was very excited about it. No, so I, don't, I, don't, like, like, I don't want to sleep in the same bed with Alex. Like, it's not appealing to me. But you know, sometimes <laughs> you got to do things. Yeah, you sacrifice it. Yeah, it just seems like a big sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I just totally. I was like, no, I'm staying. <laughs> I'm staying in your house. No, I was gonna get a hotel, but then uh, I felt bad that you were like <laughs> gonna bunk up. Ah, we no. we bunk up all the time. Sometimes <laughs> it's like spooky here. Some scary nights. This is pretty what scary. Do, what do you think of my room? Is it nice? Dude, this house is so sick. It's actually, it's covered in trash right now because I ruined it. Like I, <laughs> I came, I came in and immediately the first thing I did after getting on the fucking, getting off the 15 hour flight was I basically put all of the things that I had in my bags. I opened them up in the middle of the fucking space <laughs> and there's just stuff everywhere. Like I sprawled out here. It's disgusting, and I'm really sorry for I it. I don't. You shouldn't feel bad because we did tidy before you came. It was. You, sh- so you should yeah, see was, what was bad what I you. do when I come home. But my bag is filled with sand. It's full of fish. It's the same thing that you do. <laughs> yeah. Well, like dead fish. <laughs> like, yeah, it's so much worse. It was. It was so sick when I first walked in. It's like it's very tastefully decorated, like even down to your grandmother's. Uh, boyfriend's dead boyfriend's <laughs> furniture Table, yeah yeah it's sick like it, it fits very well your room is awesome there's so much commie shit everywhere by the <laughs> way like an unimaginable amount like it's way worse than my house i feel like i have way less commie shit than you yeah, do. yeah. and ours is very aggressive north korean yeah. propaganda as well yeah you have like agitprop everywhere <laughs> your room is insane I try, I try my you best. Read way, you read too much. Like you, you read. Oh, like those, a aren't for, those aren't for reading. They just, they just there. Oh, for, they're just so there. you would comment on it on for the, the podcast babes, for the babies <laughs> yeah, yeah. to come over and be like, "Wow, you have a you have a projector in your room." <laughs> yeah, true. Do you use it? Yeah, all the time. I, I feel mean, like that's not a very good way to like watch stuff. What do you mean? The too too bright? Yeah, the, no, it's, it? it's great. It's great. You don't have to like do anything. You just kind of like lie down. Yes, you do. You have to press a button and then you have to wait for it to go. Okay, and you have yeah, to focus like it. You don't have to vo- focus the TV. You definitely have to move your fucking art piece that you have. No, no. It, 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 it like cuts out just underneath that. Oh, really? Just on top of that. Yeah. Everything's worked out perfectly. I want to bring it out here to show it. Okay. I'm very, very happy about that. The, <laughs> the art piece it's, that you <laughs> have in your room. I made it last week um, uh, in preparation for Hassan coming. Wait, really? Did you no, make it no, last no, week? No, I was making oh, it. Oh, you, are you bringing it? I did make it last week, but okay. do you want me to bring it? Uh, you're getting up. Okay. I'm, very, <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> you, I was going to get up and get it. He literally is okay. It was, it was great when he was making this though because this was his like first time using the tools in the garage. Oh. So everything was, he was just like, how do I use a circular saw? And then he would just keep using tools that are incredibly loud without headphones, without earmuffs. Oh, that's not... And have you noticed he's completely deaf? <laughs> oh, that's why he's deaf? He's, he's completely no. deaf. He's not completely deaf, but he just can't. Ta-da. Some would say it's a waste of a harp. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, wait, so... Wait. Yeah, so I don't understand. You have to explain this art piece to everybody. Um, so I... First, explain what it is to those who, at home who are listening. It's just something to like put put flowers on, um, put plants on. But it's like, it's an old harp. It's such I, a soft boy thing to make. Like, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It's a harp with flowers uh, in it. It's um, You're I, ran through. You're ran through, dog. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is some ran through ass shit. March loves it. Like, immediately, yeah, it's a soft boy It's a red flag right there. <laughs> this is some ran through ass shit. It's a fucking harp that he, like, gutted. Uh, so it was it was already fucked. I got it for like forty bucks because the whole soundboard was like lifted off. Everything was destroyed. So I was just like, I could. I was gonna just turn it back into a harp, but I thought like I'll do something much harder and like less fun, which is like make this fucking thing and like cut it all out and put it. Yeah, you put nicely. like a. He, he put like a like a wooden board in the middle of it, and then he just placed a fake plant. No, it's a real plant. That's a real plant. In, in Australia, we've got some. Some nice Not everything plant. is artificial grass in Australia. I, <laughs> it, it looks so fake. <laughs> I just didn't even think twice. I was like, "That's a fake plant." <laughs> no, no, it's all Do real. you have to take care of it? Yeah, yeah. This is this is this is a fresh cut. <laughs> this Hans oh, learning yeah, the plants yeah, yeah. are real. <laughs> like, what do you have to do to take care of it? You're so not ran through. <laughs> you, never, you never spoke to a girl before. <laughs> yeah, <and you're> like, <laughs> I don't Wait, you have to water plants. Yeah, <laughs> Wait I don't a minute, have any plants, dude. <laughs> Can can we compare it though to the music thing uh, instrument that I have that's art, and then we can see which one's better? Oh, what, yours, is is, your yours is better. Sawed off guitar. Yeah. So you. Oh shit! And look, you can place it anywhere. Can place it anywhere. So why did you do that? Well, I, I didn't need to see. Why is he flexing on you right now? Well, because I just fine. remembered that I'm, I've got an art piece as well. That's, that's fine. A music let him instrument. let him have his moment. He's that's not crazy. he's not good at a lot of stuff. He needs. <laughs> He needs it, this is, yeah, when it comes to fish facts. Oh man, he's fucking. Yeah, so I'm sure. great. Yeah, <laughs> when it comes to fish facts, he's like, eh, he's all right. Yeah. But this is the only thing I've made out of the four years of making dumb shit that I was like, this is actually kind of nice it's looking. Pretty, it, it does look very cool. I yeah, thought it was like actually an art piece. Yeah. When I saw the harp, I was like, that's actually an art piece. That's what <laughs> I thought as well. No, it's not done. I got a, I got a lack of this stuff. It'll be the same color as the rest of the harp, and then we're done. I don't want bigger, bigger what plants. Do you, what do you have to do to take care of these fucking plants? Just water them. That's but, um, do they also, <laughs> Is that I've a got, question? Uh, there's some sunlight in there, but I got ones that are like good in the dark. Yeah. See, that's a good question because like some plants you can keep in the dark and other <laughs> plants you have to like not water that much. Some plants you water too that's much. True. But I'll say when you buy a plant, like I buy these it plants, tells you. there's a little tag. It says, water me this, put me in the sun for this long. Yeah, you have a lot of, you have a lot of shrubbery in here. Yeah. Yeah. He good. loves nature. He's one of those nature pedophiles. Yeah, what it's weird, dude. How much you love nature is odd. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the coolest thing there is. I, The nature is the coolest thing yeah. there is? <laughs> and you get to shoot we it. We got like fucking What's... Hadron Colliders. You think nature is the coolest thing? I ah, fuck that. I'm so on not on the nature. You're not thing. a... Hard on collider guy. That's your brother. Hard on collider. Uh, uh, hard, hard <laughs> you got a hard on for a hard on collider. YouTube channel. He's a hard on collider. Um, yeah, but I do. I still. I appreciate it. Yeah, so do I. It's, I'm not saying I don't like that. I. I. I just love. <laughs> I love conquering nature. I. I legitimately <laughs> like when I go up into the fucking mountains. Like my brother would be like, oh, "Let's go off roading." I'm like, "Ugh, so fucking lame." Whatever. <laughs> It makes no sense. There's no goal. The goal is to get stuck so you can get unstuck. Yeah. I'm like, that I'm, makes no sense. I also you, hate that. You it's, drove like a hundred miles in, in, into like dirt. Yeah. So you can undirt yourself. That makes no fucking sense to me. But the thing that I always look at is like when we're on the mountaintops, I'm like, fuck, man. Look at these big ass beams hmm. bringing power into the fucking city. And I'm like, yeah, fuck you, nature. See, I like that as well. I like so, both. Yeah, you have I, to choose. No, no, you have to choose one right now. No, okay, brutalist, brutalist, like gray uh, blocks for for public housing or fucking in nature. I want brutalist, but like a plant has grown grown all over it. Okay, that does sound like cool. Last of Us. That's what I want. That sounds kind of cool, actually. Fuck. Okay, See, you, I got you win you. that one. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take that. I like that you guys did your art, like your show. No, he here. just put his in front of mine. <laughs> yeah. so he just couldn't, couldn't handle. It's show and tell, though. Also, I heard you talking shit over there that I never used tools. No, I made no. a whole ass guitar. He could hear you? Yeah. Turns out he's not that deaf. Yeah, so yeah. I take it back, Alexa. Yeah. Thank you. Wait, you made a whole ass guitar? Yeah. It's not It's not here, though. 
I definitely made it. <laughs> where, where is it? It's at a friend's house. It's um, it's it's a. That success. sounds so fake. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. well, because you started telling the story and you're like, this doesn't. Yeah, it sounds so sound believable. Shit. I'm like, it's not here. It's at a friend's house. <laughs> that's, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you're just like your girlfriend. Yeah, <laughs> she's I not here. She goes. She goes to another school. Sure, definitely. Yeah. She Fine. likes me. She thinks I'm really cool. <laughs> she loves my art piece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did say that. Yeah. No, she she inspired it. I'm, like, I'm gonna make a harp. She's like, well, why don't you make a plant thing? And I'm like, because I wanted to have a big plant in the middle of my room. It's like, why not do both? Well, win 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 yeah. for everybody. <laughs> yeah, but you have like. What are the other things you have on the wall? You have like a no human sign. Oh yeah, you can read Mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, sorry. The picture says no humans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was so confused. I can't read Mandarin. Yeah, just, like, well, a how did you know? In the middle, and it just says no. <laughs> yeah. It's a. It was a big metal sign. We were um we were in Beijing and we were um doing like urban exploring. So we we're trying to like break into like these abandoned factories. It's like, like the largest steelworks in China. Um, and they closed them because of the Beijing Olympic Games because they were producing too much po- uh, pollution. pollution. And there, it's like the size of, it's I don't know, three enough. times this suburb. What's, what just, is it in America? How many football fields? or like? Oh, just for the factory. Just yeah. for the factory. The That's biggest sick. building I've ever seen in my life and it was overrun with stray dogs. It was, and that we was were, pretty terrifying. It was <laughs> fucked. There were times where we like entered a room, pitch black, stepped on broken glass, and then we just heard like, <sighs> fuck. And we would just start sprinting away and had 10 well, sometimes yeah, They got like can't... rabies and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah like, it was bad. Cooked. Well, I got a rabies injection because I got fucking scratched Wait. by a dog. Oh, you did get Yeah, yeah, yeah. not we, um, on that trip, but later. We cheated the system as well because it was before we had any money at all. And um, we were traveling to China and like you're meant to you get- don't ra- really- you don't really we don't have money one. now either, but like no, that's not what I was saying. <laughs> no, <laughs> you I mean, mean his spending habits? I don't spend money either, but um, but yeah, back you then, are so fucking frugal now. We'll we'll get to that in a second. Back then it was worse, and like we um, <laughs> I think it's like 120 bucks to get like a rabies injection, and we we're gonna go to China and go to all these dodgy places, and we're just like, we don't need to get the injections. There's a scheme you can do where if you get exposed and you come back and you say. We call like the government hotline. You're like, fuck, fuck, I have rabies. Because it like doesn't exist in Australia. They take it so seriously and they rush you out and they give you the injection for free. It's so- like literally, because it happened to me. I came back and was like, I told them within two hours, they had this really incredibly expensive medication sent to me, sent to my local It wasn't incredibly doctor. expensive. We just didn't want to spend like a hundred No, bucks. but the vials are once they did, once they oh, actually have to give you the, yeah, the, right, right. Uh, the injections. And then the funny thing is my doctor fucked it up. <laughs> he didn't shake up the bottle. And he just gave me the saline on top of the actual thing. Then I like, it hurt more than usual. I was walking home and he gives me a call. He's like, Alex, you're going to have to come back. I um, I only gave you salt water in, in the needle. And I'd been scratched by a dog. So I was like, That's, at risk. So, oh my God. Yeah. I heard about, I okay, heard about. You didn't cheat the system. You definitely just needed a radio. I know, I should have just done that before though. Before yeah, you went. but I, I cheated the system because I didn't get scratched by a dog, but I'm like, this shit's free. Like, fuck yeah. I, I called them. I'm like, I got scratched. Wait, you got one yeah. too? Oh, that's like, what I told you. Yeah, I was, just like, I was just like, oh, I got scratched by a dog. Um, but like, I didn't have any like marks anywhere. So I was like, how do I, how do I make this believable? I'm like, oh, maybe I was petting it and it like bit my finger. And I'm like, yeah, I got, I got bit in my finger. They're like, oh, that's bad. I'm like, what, what do you mean? <laughs> and it's just like, oh, because you know, like we, we have to flood the zone with like the rabies vaccine. Um, oh, and so because the finger's shot. so small, they can't fit enough into it. So they were just like, we're just gonna have to pump as much of this stuff into your finger as we can. And you're like, and, yes, <laughs> yeah, it yes. Up. It was you so mean- painful though. My finger was like twice the size, just swelling with, the, with liquid. You fucking deserve <laughs> it. What the fuck? You're like that guy in America that got vaccinated 120 times for some reason. <laughs> that's you. Well, I'm immune to rabies now. <laughs> it's free. Pretty good. Yeah. And I didn't have to get bitten by a dog. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's insane. You guys have done a, a whole lot of like crazy shit. Uh, you literally went to China to to the dog eating oh, yeah. thing as well. Yeah. Which you guys never really you never that's, really that's released. That's my bad. It. I'm just like too too lazy. Um, I think it's still oh, potentially so going to be released. I'd like to put I'd like to put it out. It's just like this it's such a big project and there's so many like quicker things that like we can get out. Mm. Um, yeah, you do work a lot. Yeah. <laughs> there's, so much, there's so much going on. You know how long it took to make this thing? It takes a lot. I don't, I don't yeah, know how much time. You can't tell that story after John died. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, I know. Yeah. Um, you're, you're, you're held up with all of the fuel efficiency that you engage oh, with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm producing fuel for Australia by driving my car so well. Yeah. Wait, before we talk about your, your frugal habits, um, 
Yeah, let's let's talk about the the other. Yeah, when you went to China to the to the dog eating festival, yeah. is that what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, because I when you guys first told me. So before we continue here, all three of us are big cineboos, in in which like it's the opposite of uh, I guess a cinephobe or cinephiles. Mm, like we like we like China. I, we think China is chill. Like yeah. it's cool. It's developing. It's great. It's developed. It's awesome. Um, so when you guys told me about that, I always thought that that was fake. Yeah, no, like the dog eating thing. I always thought it was like, oh, here we go again. This is like another fucking fake bullshit. Like, yeah, no, they just straight up do it. It is, but it's like I don't know how real it is now. Like they, the the Chinese government was has over time been like putting pressure on it. Like mm. they, you think they were like, yo, this shit's like looking. This is a bad look. <laughs> it looks bro. bad. It literally it was. Well, it was, was right. like, yo, white women love dogs, bro. Yeah, we gotta yeah. cut this shit out right <laughs> yeah. now. It, it was interesting though because it was never like completely legal. Like um, it's it's always in a gray zone. So like you. You're not allowed to eat meat that doesn't have like certain certifications, and you can't breed dogs for eating. So they're exclusively street dogs, and it's kind of like the authorities in the regions that like dogs, like down south, um, they kind of just look away because it's a the festival brings a lot of money in, like a lot of tourists. Um, so like people do straight up travel to be like, oh, I can't wait to eat the dog. Yeah. Yeah. And it was interesting interviewing the people there because there were some people that like. Dog is the best fucking meat yeah. you've ever had. But and they were also had like, you had yeah, we yeah. had so, so much. It was like good. kilograms of dog that day. It was, was it good? Oh. It was kind of like lamb. I, it was I a bit like lamb, but you know how um, like lamb is thick meat? This was like, you know, when you get like um, Chinese chicken where they like, they get it, they, it's hanging up and they chop it up. So it's cut not in fillets. So you've got a lot of bones. Every piece we had I like was, a little like, bone. very bony. Um, so you are, had to kind of pull it off. It speaking of bones, I, I fucking almost chipped my tooth on a dog's dick when I was there. They gave me... They, they gave me. You presented <laughs> that like you suck the dog's yeah. dick, bro. Yeah, well, you did. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. It wasn't alive. I don't know if that makes it better, but like... <laughs> we have this on <laughs> video as well. Yeah, yeah. So one of the one of the dudes there gives it to me and like we don't we don't speak any... Not even Mandarin. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Why do you present it like that? Okay, go yeah. on. Sorry. I was, I was to, so you suck the dead dog's dick. I sucked the dead dog's dick. This is going like, to get demonetized. <laughs> yeah. You had, um, so I don't speak, it was Cantonese down there. And um, and the guy was kind of explaining to me, like, if you eat it, you'll like fucking, you'll have really like strong oh, like, erections. Yeah, and, that yeah. was a big thing but for everyone. They kept saying like for every libido. Every kind of food though, it wasn't just dogs. Like everything you fucking eat gives you an erection. They're just like, oh, this salad. Were you just like super hard the whole time? Yeah. Did it work? No, he was super soft. That's no, what all I like. The, all this the Chinese guy. dudes around us are really hard. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I just they've been eating the whole life. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't get that. But yeah, there's like a lot of like exotic meats that you consume to get your dick hard. I don't know what's up with that. Like, why yeah. is everybody always so stressed about this <laughs> shit? Yeah, but what if you're it. a woman as well? You're just like, well, this meat's not for me. It makes your pussy. It makes your pussy hard. <laughs> it makes your pussy harder. Yeah. It makes your clit super hard. It's <laughs> Rock fucking hard. crazy. Yeah. This this guy this guy gave me the dick of like the dog, and I was like, oh sick, I, I can't wait to try this. And I thought it was like my dick. I just kind of assumed it was just like a meaty kind of thing. I went just bite into it, but they have this thing called like a baculum, so that dogs have like a bone in their boner. So it's like if the bone comes out when they want to have sex, like surrounded by meat. So it's like. Yeah, it's not, it's not like a soft thing and it fucking hurts to buy. Yeah. <laughs> <It's just laughs> okay, and yeah. they knew he was going to do that as well because I think they just started laughing at you immediately. I think they laughed at me because I ate it like an idiot. Yeah. yeah, but also I don't think you meant to eat it. I think that's no, them being like, the funniest dumb white guys. No, no, they definitely they, There's also what? like the funniest way to like dunk on someone is like, ha, this idiot doesn't know how to eat dog dick. <laughs> <laughs> You've <laughs> never done loser. that before. What a loser, how embarrassing. Dude. I eat dog dicks for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Um... Yeah, I, I don't understand that. I don't understand yeah. it. it. It Like, I guess it's just, I mean, it kind it's, of does make sense because it's like, it's an animal. So Well, that's, that's what they it. were justifying. They were saying like when we, we had a translator there, we we're talking to a lot of people and they were like, look, people in India don't eat cows. Like, um, that's their sacred animal, but Americans eat so much cows. But that's the difference. But they're eating more meat <laughs> rather than less meat. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 I guess so. But they also so. Like, we, I don't think Indians are like looking at Americans being like, I can't believe they're eating cows. <laughs> like, oh, I think probably. I think some of them people might are, be like that. Maybe. Like, people think it's it's gross. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe so. It's a, just a, like, a long, big part so, of it was that, but then it, in a way, wasn't that as well because a lot. I think the majority of Chinese people um, don't eat like dog. that. Yeah. Don't eat dog, and then they were 
just not even for Westerners hiding it from Chinese people. Yeah, like they were just on it, edge. It, it didn't yeah. say dog anywhere. Yes. It was called like crispy best meat or something. Crispy um, best meat. No, what was it called? Succulent. Yeah, something. No, like there was a name, like a, a euphemism for it. They would say it in yeah. restaurants because you can't advertise it. Yeah. Dude. The reason why I asked if it was like actually good is like, because what if it is just fire, it's right? Not bad. You have it and you're it's like, this bad. is the greatest meat I've ever had in my entire life. That's why they're like, the government can't stop us. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're just like, dude, no, fuck this. Well, like, that, that's what I found so funny. This is like the new Falun Gong movement. Like, but instead <laughs> of weird meditation shit and like not allowing race mixing or whatever the fuck <laughs> the Falun Gong guys believe in. They're like, no, we have to have dog meat. Let's the CIA <laughs> starts working with the dog meat people. That's <laughs> overthrown. Yeah, they're, doing, they're doing Shen Yun, but like in America where they're like, you have to eat the dog meat. It's so good. <laughs> that, that's what I found really weird about some of the interviews because like a lot of it felt pretty American. Like the way these people were talking about mm. it, like the government can't stop us. Like I can eat whatever I want. Like you can't tell people what to do. It's, it was just, I don't know. It felt yeah. like, like, and we did it back like to back. freedom in consumption is such a like funny. Yeah. If we just start getting suspicious articles placed in like the New York Times about how like these brave warriors <laughs> <laughs> fighting against their oppressive regime <laughs> in China and it's just the dog guys, I'm going to know that they were watching the podcast and they're like, yeah. that's the thing. That's the new thing. <laughs> that's how we do it. <laughs> that's how we, that's how we hit these guys it's hard. Funny. It's funny though, because like, I don't know what it's like now, but at the time they were making the documentary in Korea, they they have like a dog meat industry. Like it's it's completely legalized. You have dogs that are bred like There's specifically farms. for like meat, and they, Wait, they uh, eat dog meat in Korea too. Yeah, yeah. But like factory farm. It's not it's not illegal. How it's come like, we don't fucking hear about Koreans eating dog all the time? You know they eat dog Korea. in Switzerland as well. Yeah. N what not as not fuck? at the same scale, but it's like there's a holiday. Week? Yeah, yeah, and it's like all yeah. these mountain villages. Yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy. It's just but it's, like, but it's one. That's why we did it because it's always it's framed like a, as, you know, China. It's a Chinese thing. Chinese people are barbaric. But like they don't even fucking like they don't do it as as freely as other countries. Do. Yeah, um, there's a shame to it. Yeah. Like so, when they're eating it in Switzerland, there's like they're doing it like secretly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. but in Korea they just have farms. Yeah, there's which like, all factory you can, farms. You can look for it dogs. up. There's like a specific kind of dog breed that's just for meat. It's like they, a mastiff. It's like a big, big is he guy. Cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, all the all animals are cute. Like no. pigs are cute. That's true. Yeah. But like, I don't give a fuck. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, I've I've pet a pig. You know, they're like, well, pigs are like kind of gnarly. They can. Have you be. guys ever? Have you guys ever like been in contact with a pig? Yeah, we got yeah. in contact with a big. <gasps> fucking. This is when we're filming fuck, this. Oh, fucked your ass. Yeah, I got bitten on the ass by a giant pig. It was so <laughs> fucking painful. Yeah. This was a big like, I don't know. They, two, they get real big. Two, three hundred kilos, maybe. It was like impossible. Like. When it walks past you, just like it's like a truck, like the air that comes with it, like pushes you back. <laughs> it was so <laughs> that, bad. That's too big. It, it was <laughs> so <laughs> heavy. That's, I, that's not true, but it was felt very similar. No, I, I, I mean, I, I only pet like little teacup pigs that are not like actually small pigs. There's no yeah. such thing as like a miniature pig. Yeah. That's a lie right. that they just tell yeah, people. Yeah. And then you're just stuck with this like behemoth in your house. <laughs> but like when they're little babies in, in Japan, I went in and like pet them. And like their hair is kind of coarse. Yeah. Really and coarse. it's like sparse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you can see their skin. It was the little like liver spots on experience. their back. Yeah. yeah, they're very cute, but like but like also kind of gross. They look like a fat English man. Yeah. yeah. Like. But yeah. the be best thing about these pig interaction was we were looking for cute pigs to film. Oh. So we contacted a guy on Facebook Marketplace that said he had these miniature pigs. And he's like, yeah, my figs, my pigs, you can come film them. They're really cute. We're like, sure. It's we rock up at this Bogan guy's farm. house. And it was like, I don't know, looked a bit like a- Like a pig sty, mate. Like a pig sty. <laughs> Very good. And Makes then sense. this pig just came up. First thing it did was massive, was just- like take a chunk out of Alexa's arm. It was so bad. Like beat you so hard, you fucking. And like that just you're bleeding. Yeah, bleeding? That, that just scared me for the rest of the day. I'm like, how the fuck are we gonna film this? Like these. Oh, these it's not, terrifying. These are, not pets. these are like, I don't know what this guy was doing. It's food. <laughs> you're like yeah. pigs are not friends. Yeah, <laughs> <They're food. laughs> yeah change no, my mind completely. There are nice pigs out there. This guy yeah, was I just. I mean, they're also super smart too. Yeah. yeah. But that's what I was saying. Like, I love uh, Winnie the Moo is a cow in uh, Maya's uh, sanctuary, Alveus, and like I love that fucking thing. Mm. Uh, it's like a big stupid dog, you know. Cows, so they got best. big eyelashes. Yeah, they're, so, they're very they're so cute. cute. They love like there's like a spot. I feel like when you connect with an animal, like when you when you find their spot, when you're scratching it, they go, "Oh, this is so good." That's when you're like, "Oh fuck, I don't feel that way about cows at all. I still want to eat that shit. <laughs> like I don't give a fuck." But dogs is just it's 
you know, it, I, I know it's like hypocritical, mm. technically. Actually, it's hypocritical, but like it does feel weird. Yeah, it, no, I can me. understand it. It did feel weird being there because the point of the docker was to talk about that point. Yeah, it, feel, it felt oh, weird when you ate a kilo of dog meat. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. it's just like we're You're white. Like, this feels so weird. <laughs> <laughs> we're white people at like a dog meat festival. Like chances are we're activists. So we really, every time we sat at a table to interview people, we, we needed to kind of like prove that we're like on there. To- we literally had the cops come up and then they saw oh. us eating the, the dog meat and they were literally like, oh. These guys are kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> they took some photos with us. They, they watched us eat the like literally our plan of eating as much two kilos of dog yeah. each worked so yeah, well. Yeah, was perfect. Yeah. Everyone was like, "These white guys love yeah. dog." <laughs> like, that's, fuck. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, um, but it was like it was like a wider kind of anti-capitalist point um, in the docker that doesn't exist. But like, um, <laughs> it's a. Uh, we we're following these like anti because you're too busy. To these, be fair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We we're, we're following these anti dog meat activists who like. Can I even reveal this? Is it like a, I, won't, I won't say the person, but like, should I reveal the kind of twist? But maybe no, don't reveal the twist. Save it for the save it, for, dude. Okay, never mind. Never Le- mind. Leave it as a cliffhanger. Yeah. But we 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 stumbled upon a sweatshop, which is very important in the story. Um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> the activists were never mind. I don't know what the. What oh, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't, no, wanna, no. I don't even want to speculate. Yeah. I don't even want to speculate. Yeah. It's um, good, but it, yeah, when the documentary does come out, you guys will watch it if it does come out. We should yeah. be spooking a docker that's never coming out. It's coming out. I hope so. It's coming. It's just where where obviously you don't even know if they still do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, so the long. No, I think and we it's obviously, we're obviously they like don't seven do years ago, so we we look young. I think they don't do it. Anymore. So Someone like when, told when, us after COVID they but, shut all the wet markets. Yeah. We filmed well, this I just. I think they, f- they saw wet markets. I think they, they got rid of the dog shelters. Yeah. They thought dogs were vectors for spreading COVID. And like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what happened after that. Dude, th- there's so many dogs that you could have eaten that they just like killed and buried <laughs> somewhere, including the fucking steel mill that you guys went to. That's why I thought about the dog. When you talked about the stray dogs in the steel mill, I was like, damn, uh-huh. there's a lot of dogs you can fucking just round up. <laughs> yeah. You know, them. what are they going to do? It's better to just eat them than to 100%. fucking kill them and not use their meat. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, I'm sure I didn't know that there, there's like a, a successful Korean dog meat industry. I don't know if it still exists. They had pressure, I think, during the Seoul Olympics ages ago to close it, but it did nothing. Why is it always the out. Olympics? Why does the Olympics make people be like yeah we got to change our country because we're playing a sport well, i think that's just an advertising thing oh uh, yeah yeah oh they banned it in jan dude in Cor- your documentary is never coming out Fuck. When, it's when, never when coming it out because like even the flip side of it is gone yeah. well, what is it what? the consumption of dog meat is heavily restricted and soon to be illegal in south korea on january 9th 2024 oh i'm fucked so the south korean parliament unanimously passed a law banning the distribution and sale of dog meat to take effect in three years Okay. Oh my god! I got That's time. how you know they fucking still eat that shit. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. This is so widespread. We can't just shut it down tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna take at least three years. It's like a whole industry. How do you even like replace those jobs and those factories? I mean, well, I guess you just put pigs in there instead of dogs, and then you're fine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's so funny because I'm rooting for people to keep eating dogs just so we can release this docker right now. Yeah, <laughs> we got, I got three years. I got a deadline. <laughs> it's been like seven years, and in another three, I got a good decade yeah. to get I this mean, out. It, it does sometimes take you guys a long time to finally complete projects. You told me about torturing me the first time a year ago <laughs> when you came and stayed in my house. Yep. It took me yeah. to come out to to Australia to complete the project, <laughs> which is still not complete. No, no, no. I mean, this is we've done as much on this as I have on the dog meat thing. So it could oh, be another 10 years. No. Gonna, <laughs> America is going to, by the time you take this out, America is going to apologize yeah. <laughs> for torturing. We're going to find out they never even tortured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> we'll just change the country then. Yeah. We'll be like, I can't believe Australia does this. Russia does this. It's true. There's plenty of countries that still torture. Yeah. So you can just like, massage it a little bit yeah. and the techniques are always the same yeah true yeah they just do rely on old school methods I try yeah, to this test is cr- i'm just looking at like dog meat for sale in the gyeong dong market in 2007 is that in korea guy gay yeah. gogi yeah guy gogi even you just reading that out makes it sound delicious yeah, yeah it, it was does so sound too much like bulgogi yeah it was so nice in china because they'd like fry it up with like <laughs> ginger and, and and soy sauce and he's actually it. getting nostalgic <laughs> about eating no dog. it's like the smell i mean it has nothing to do with dog it's like what they what they the sauces they put in but like just really good chinese food 
Consumption of dog meat has experienced a precipitous decline over the past three decades in South Korea. This has been attributed to changes in legislation, a couple of white boys with swag coming to China and also to Korea to find out the consumption of dog meat. <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> you did that really well. Yeah. That fucking killed Even me. Even when you said white boys with swag, I was like, this could still be real. It could be still be us. But we don't have this swag, is, yeah. so probably not about Demographic us. Demographic decline of the minority that consumes dog meat and the increasing number of dogs owned as pets. Estimates of the number of animals consumed very widely and are subject to a significant debate. Foreign media often quotes estimates of one or two million dogs consumed per year. Mm. I guess that's I mean, like kind of small when you think about yeah, it. Yeah, we were doing the numbers and it's like there are some insane things for me. Like I think like something like five million, 50 million. I forgot how many pigs just get thrown out. There are in, in, in 2020, the, the Ministry of Agricultural Food and Rural Affairs reported 200 registered dog farms. And there were still unregistered farms in the country on top of that. So you're right. It, it was like out in the open. Yeah. Yeah. And I never even knew about it. I only knew about like the, uh, they're them doing the festival in China. It was funny. I, I traveled to Vietnam when I was like 19. And um, there was a bit of dog meat down south. And it was a funny kind of cultural thing because like Vietnam is like Buddhist. But you've also got lots of Catholics from like the French colonization. Um, and it's like only the Catholics that eat dogs. <laughs> The Buddhists are like, oh, yuck. <laughs> it's like a, it's like Catholic thing. So so dog meat markets get really big around Christmas. Cause but a Buddhist vegetarian? Is that a thing? Why the well, fuck do the Catholics eat the dog meat? I don't know. That's Probably, so strange. You should invest. Maybe they were poorer? That. I don't even know. I don't know what the... They got the... Yeah, they converted the broke boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they didn't have that Buddhist mindset. <laughs> broke is a mindset. That's wild. You guys have done a lot of crazy shit. Many people here probably don't even know. They're like, oh yeah, you do engineering videos and you broke into the CIA base. Uh, but like you have, I I knew about these guys many, many years ago before I ever met them and had totally forgotten about them basically <laughs> because of the haircut <laughs> documentary. Do you know how you found, cause that wasn't really big on YouTube. That haircut, was like- yeah, It would have had like 15,000 views. Maybe it was like a it. socialist Reddit or yeah, something like that. I think that. that's probably what it was. Cause like, especially in the early days of my, of my Twitch stream, I definitely had a lot of like, like hard line, like, mm. you know, 10, 20 year communist like people mm. that were like, oh, finally we, have, we found a space for ourselves that they wanted to fuck up. <laughs> okay? Cause that's like the number one thing that socialists love doing is like going in infiltrating spaces and fucking the vibes up and they probably loved it because they're like there's a there's a phenomenon left book way back in the day that i observed that i thought was very strange like people that would say not that like north korea was like in a shitty situation because of sanctions which is understandable and normal and true to say but they would also they would literally go so far as to say that like they eat hamburgers every day in North Korea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no homelessness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Like, people yeah. that would like hype up yeah, North yeah. Korea <laughs> from like Iowa, like an Iowa Maoist. Who's mm -hmm. like, dude, you don't understand. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea, it's sweet. And it's like, no, it's not, because you would live there if it was fucking sweet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We um, had a lot of those people get in contact with us after yeah. uh, the Korean video. But then also strangely, a lot of like almost conservative right wing people that almost liked it from like a anti-government point of view. I remember we even went on like a, a right wing, like he was just wanted to chat to us about like, oh, anti-media stuff. Yeah. Uh, it was interesting yeah. that there was a crossover there. Yeah. Like in oh, the for those of you who didn't watch it, it's a great documentary. I, I highly recommend it. They go to North Korea to like dispel a lot of the rumors about like the dispel a lot of the like false stuff that always circulates in, uh, in not just social media, but like mainstream media about North Korea. Like, oh, Kim Jong-un like, you know, ate his <laughs> enemies or whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Like, killed his uncle by feeding him to 150 starving yeah, yeah, yeah. dogs. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of dogs. And, like, and which is funny because like, <laughs> that could have like, eaten so, the dogs. Yeah. It's so crazy. They How do they eating the dogs? Exactly. Yeah. There's too many dogs to just waste. <laughs> um, which is really funny to think about because like Yanmi Park still does that shit like very mm, successfully, yeah. and and people love eating it up. Cause like, I think it's just copium. Like we need something yes. to be like- There must be a worse so, place. So much worse than our situation. Thank God we don't have healthcare because like yeah. we could be like Korea. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, but I, I, I was fascinated by it because like I obviously thought that there's a lot of, what is going on? Oh, it's Lucas. Oh, okay. They're just talking. Oh, I got scared. I thought there was like a crowd of people. Yeah, yeah. Coming into your house. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's this. They're finally the CIA is like they, they're like all three of them are here. Drone strike them now. Um, but yeah, no, I thought it was really good. And you go and you get the haircut, which you suspiciously have never changed since you got it the fucking the be- haircut. It's the best haircut I ever had. Um, yeah. No, it's weird because he had long hair before the fucking haircut documentary, and. It, Ever since then, you've only had this hair. I always show them the exact same photo from the documentary. <laughs> just like I want to look like I did when I was in It was a fade though, right? They, they yeah, yeah. Fade. yeah it was it's like just that like I only get a haircut like once a year. Okay. What's up? No, oh, oh. you're just giving us oh, that yeah. we're in an hour, so we can move on to the paywall stuff to, oh, to get into like the real, the real. Yeah. We'll we'll oh. we'll hide the dog, all the eating the dog dick wasn't the the bad one. I can't, I can't get any that's worse. Not, that's like that's like half the fucking story. There's so much more that you can hear behind the paywall at patreon.com slash fear and where we'll talk about more of their travel stories uh, uh in a little bit. So go to patreon.com slash fear and but yes, before we do that, where can people find you? What do you want to shout out? YouTube, boy boy on YouTube. It's a yeah. great channel. I did a thing. YouTube and Boy Boy as well. Yeah. Yeah. He's double dipping. That's true. Uh, I did a things uh, a channel is, is I mean, you you also do a little bit of, you yeah. do a little bit of political commentary. I try to mix it in when I'm kind of like a little bit bored with just making something stupid. I'm like, yeah. oh, I'll talk about something. Like you do the man catchers? A little bit real. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, very um, pro police. Oh, like you did the, the Black Lives Matter one where you yeah. show, show protesters how to like survive different, I mean, it, it, it's not very good advice. I don't think you should make your own bulletproof vest and think you can get shot with an American gun. Yeah, or when you did the the school shooting one. Oh yeah, great. Yeah, that video. was that was a that was a good video. Thank um, you. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna talk more about uh, some of you guys' is, is adventures, and also I'm gonna tease an adventure that we're gonna go on. <gasps> so, oh. see you on the next one. <laughs>